So Netflix isn't having a very good morning. I want to show you what's going on with them. I don't think the market has opened just yet, but what's going on with their stocks is pretty crazy. So yesterday it closed at $508, but the after hours saw a pretty big plunge. When it opens, it's going to open at $405. They lost over $100 in stock value or 20% in one night. That's a steep, steep drop. Look at that slope. Oh, So the reason that this happened is because they announced that they didn't quite hit the numbers that they were looking for. And they didn't even miss it by that much, to be honest. Netflix investors have been worried uh, that the company isn't adding subscribers fast enough. And today they started to panic after Netflix reported lower than projected subscriber additions for the first for the final quarter of 2021. Its stock plummeted nearly 20 percent. The plunge was the lowest the stock had dropped since June of 2020, CNBC noted last quarter. Netflix had forecasted that it would report 222 million paid subscribers by the end of last year. Instead, the company reported Thursday that it ended the fourth quarter with 221.84 paid memberships. It's a small difference, but investors have been worried about Netflix, already one of the biggest streaming companies out there, being able to find new ways to keep growing. And by Netflix's own estimates, subscriber growth is going to be low next quarter as well. The company estimated that it would add 2.5 million subscribers in the first quarter of 2022, down from 4 million during the same period last year. So let's talk about this. Look at that. So they thought they were going to get 222 million. They got 221 million. And that was enough to stay <laughs> to to make the stocks fall that low. They didn't miss it by that much. And it lost over $100. That's insane. But here's the problem Netflix is running into. How many more people can they get? You know, I think what they, they might get some churn people to come back once in a while. As in churn, I mean, a lot of people are just canceling subscription services. So, okay, well, there's this new HBO Max show. I want to watch Peacemaker. So I'll go ahead and cancel Netflix and I'll pick up HBO Max. Once Peacemaker is over, I'll cancel that. I'll go to Disney Plus and watch Book of Boba Fett. Then I'll cancel that and then I'll go back to Netflix. This is where people are at now to kind of juggle the fact that there's so many different subscription services now. I mean, you have like uh, NBC Peacock. You've got Apple TV now. Uh, Paramount Plus. I think that's what it's called. It used to be the CBS one, but now it's called Paramount Plus, I think. Then you've got HBO Max, Disney Plus, Hulu. Uh, you also have Netflix and I think a couple more. When you start adding all of these up, it's the same price as cable, which people were trying to ditch in the first place. Also, how many more people can Netflix get? Netflix has been around for a while. Do they even really have room to grow that much bigger? I mean, what what can you do to get people on here? That's why they're trying to get so much new material on the the platform is because a lot of a lot of Hollywood is making their own services now. So like all of those back movies that they used to have are going away. So they're kind of in an interesting spot. I think growth is going to be slow for a lot of these companies and a lot of them will fold as well. I, I think quite a few of them are going to fold over unless they can figure out how, like I think if they can work in a, like a free service, that would help. I think that's what Peacock does. So I think you can watch all of Peacock for free, but you'll get commercials. So that's like an interesting way to juggle this, but it's crazy to me. They didn't lose that much stock. They're, they didn't lose that much off their prediction and they lost a hundred bucks. It's pretty crazy. So the main thing of this article here is that investors are worried that they're not going to grow. 
Netflix is in a weird position, so we'll see what happens with them. I wanted to go to one more thing before I end this video. <laughs> That's that M&M's got inclusive. So uh, here's the thing. When you do this, when you try to pander, it's never going to be good enough. And people are already complaining about this. So here's the Daily Beast, one of the wokest of woke sites. And they're saying, okay, thanks for nothing. Go, girl, give us nothing. So this is the stupidest thing I've ever seen Eminem do. These are Eminems. They're not real people. But what they did was they changed the color of the skin on some of these. You see this blue Eminem is green. Uh, the green lady Eminem, they took away her her high heels and gave her tennis shoes. <laughs> this one still has heels over here, though. Uh, they just changed their skin tone. Basically, like, see, these two are white over here instead of being Caucasian colored, I guess. And that's it. They basically didn't do very much. And now people are complaining about it and saying thanks for nothing. And there, it seems like they're getting more heat now than uh, they thought they would. Can't, once, you, once you do this shit, it's uh, never going to be enough. And they're always going to come after you with a little bit of a fire. So anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, make sure to follow me over on Twitch. I do watch parties, play video games over there. They're always fun. Follow me over there and come hang out. Also, make sure you subscribe to Yellow Flash, my other channel. There's a link to that in the description as well. I do a lot of live streams over there that I don't do on this channel. It's usually smaller and a little bit more personal. So make sure you follow me over there and sign up.